guys welcome back to the channel this video is going to try to show you that 60 frames per second constant 60 frames per second with a 4090 is possible in VR using native resolution of the Pimax crystal light which is right now <clears throat> I'm going to tell you is 3408 by 2300 that's because I'm using a OpenXR toolkit one speed mod and I'm cropping the image quite a quite a bit quite a lot on top 50% down 65 uh, you might say that that's a lot but I honestly don't feel the need to have my GPU rendering the roof or the top of my aircraft because I am not looking at the, the top of my aircraft I'm just looking at the instruments and outside so the gain using this mod it's really really important that important that I'm actually using uh, for the first time in 2024 uh, DLSS4 in ultra quality mode ultra quality is not available as uh, a default option you need to to tweak the, the settings the NVIDIA setting from the NVIDIA profile inspector I'll show you how and um, I just want to, to to share with you my impressions because right now as you can see I'm reaching 60 frames per second and the image quality is really really impressive it's like the best experience I ever had in VR using Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024 it's quite similar to DLSS DLAA which is the native res resolution in full full resolution DLSS as you know usually when you select performance quality uh, balance whatever options there what the render is doing the render process is doing is taking for instance in performance you will have half the native resolution or the resolution you choose uh, sent to the GPU and the rest of the of the pixels are generated by AI which is pretty nice and pretty good right now but if you have more real uh, pixels you will see a better image quality and right now as you can see let me show you let me move this so we are going to VR VR graphics and as you can see, I'm using ultra quality. So these new features, uh, the, the new Sim Update 2 is including the foveated rendering option. Right now, I'm not using quad views because with the Pimax Crystal Light, I'm not getting a better performance and the visuals are uh, affected by this process because it adds like a square and you will notice especially in the LSS uh, the gains or the advantage of the foveated rendering option comes with uh, dynamic foveated rendering which will be working or um, maybe it's it's working right now with the headsets that includes include that technology like the Pimax Crystal, the original one, and the Pimax Crystal Super or 
uh, MetaQuest Pro and others like the Barrio Aero or other uh, headset with eye tracking. The thing here is that the foveated rendering will be working as a fixed foveated rendering if you don't have any eye tracker or if you have an eye tracking uh, headset the performance will be the same for both because the only difference is that the tracking is moving that foveated, foveated area uh, but if you're using the fixed foveated rendering the performance will be the same so you can test if you are going to get better performance there or not when you have a fixed foveated rendering option or a dynamic foveated rendering option uh, actually with this thing with this with the, the the one speed mod i'm using and i'm really really loving because to me it's the best uh, feature we have right now to uh, improve the, the performance in VR especially when you're doing uh, fly simulators uh, I think I that's a personal feeling and an opinion that we can tweak a little bit the FOB and we won't feel because the 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 gain the, the 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 improvement of the resolution here it's really 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 good so you won't feel like losing anything if you lose a couple of degrees in the field of view you won't bother because the resolution you're getting it's awesome so nvidia reflex low latency on plus boost always dynamic settings off because we're using auto fps and the well the rep reprojection mode is off because our headset's not compatible exposure compensation this is new you can go up and down it's like brightness adds like exposure with a, like trying with a camera it's if you feel it's too bright or of a saturation in the in the illumination you can go down or up and the fidelity effects sharpening I'm using 200 you can try I'm using 200 okay how to get ultra quality okay let's go okay I have the Nvidia profile inspector the latest version and you can open the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. And under Global Profile here, you can try this, or maybe you want to try to, to try only with Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. You go down there and look for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2024. Then, in the five common section, you'll find DLSS override here, enable DLSS override, will make the game to use the latest DLSS version, in this case, super resolution, that comes in the latest NVIDIA um, driver, which is 3.10.2.1, I think, right now. And that's magic dlss4 okay use this use this dlss overridden by latest available then you have the letters the preset letter it's a, it, it's a combination of resolutions and not resolution of settings used by the driver to improve this version of dlss in this case we are using preset K. Here you have more that will come later. So if we get a new driver, 
and we are not really um, paying attention to this, you just use always use latest. So if we get the new driver and we don't check this, we will be using the best option for this DLSS version that comes with the driver. And here's the magic. If you feel that DLSS performance is going nicely and smooth and you have headroom for more, more uh, resolution and you feel that quality is also giving you a, a, a more, more space to have more, more resolution, more pixels, here's the magic. You have force quality level. You have to check here and use custom. We don't have ultra quality here. We have just the uh, regular options like performance, balance, quality, DLAA, and ultra performance. If you check customs, customs will use this next option, which is the scaling radio. Here, as you can see, you have lots of uh, percentage from 33, which is ultra performance, up to 99 or 100%, which is DLAA. Ultra quality is 77. So, for instance, if we're using the auto, um, the um, the Pimax Play uh, or um, Virtual Desktop Godlike mode, you have here you have the, the the charts with the different resolutions. That resolution will be multiplied by this number. So in this case, let me show you like this. Calculator. So. For instance, if we have, uh, let's say, 4,200 by something, if we multiply that by 0 0.77, that's the number we are going to have, 3,234, and we'll be reaching 4,200 with the magic of the LSS and AI. The results are almost, I, I can tell you that DLAA, the sorry, uh, it's the same as this, as the LSS ultra quality. And the performance is quite better because I'm reaching 45 frames per second using DLAA and 60 frames per second, as you can see when when I play the game uh, in ultra quality. So let's try again. Let's go back to VR. I can read RC200, test arm on, uh, cabin temperature uh, here, max extended, max operation, 124. Uh, minimum single engine control, single engine climb, best angle. This airplane must be operated as normal category airplane in compliance with operating everything. I can read, read everything. Here I can see the numbers 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, 100, everything. <clears throat> the numbers here in the in the temperature thermometer uh, everything if I go out you won't notice this because I'm using the split screen so the performance is not affected by the OBS screen recorder but I can actually see the ribbons the rivets everything And the mountains, they look real. Really, really real. Look at that. Right now, I ha I'm having 
57 uh, FPS it's not ideal I'm using 120 Hertz in order to have the best and smooth performance you need to reach at least the half of the frame rate in this case 60 frames per second how can I get 50 more uh, five more frames well you have different options you can maybe go inside the cockpit and that's it or you can try maybe touching or modifying that 77 number in the NVIDIA profile inspector well right now as you can see I have 350 in terrain level of detail that might affect the performance so if you feel that you're not reaching the the refresh rate or the half of it just try lowering your settings in auto FPS as you can see here I'm using T load minimum at 100 and maximum at 350 you can try 200 300 whatever I'm using 350 and as you can see also one of my tricks here to force getting 350 is lowering the target there to 45 if I put 60 I will reach 60 easily but I won't reach those uh, 350 but since I have some little headroom I'm still getting 60 frames per second using 45 and I force the uh, auto FPS to reach 350 I know it sounds unlogic not logical but it works okay guys and that's it thank you for watching ultra quality with a 4090 using native resolution cropping the area on top and left right it's possible it's not very very aggressive you you might think it is but believe me that once you're used to the visual quality here you won't regret it's amazing what I'm telling you is the truth